What's up guys, it's Juggling Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be showing y'all 23 ring juggling tricks. So let's get to it. At number one, we have the cascade because of course that's the easiest trick you can do. Just normal juggling. The reverse cascade is at number two because you're just doing the exact same motions but backwards. There are two ways to do a three ring pull down. The first one looks like this. And then the second one looks like this. The difference is, on the second one, you're throwing that first ring up and then slamming the two down under it. Columns is a very common trick to do. You're throwing two up at the same time and the other one goes in between. 5-3-1 is a side swap where you're throwing all three rings up at different heights and the first one thrown is the last one caught. Half shower is a popular trick with balls, however it can be done with rings too. And it can be awkward at first, but once you get the hang of it, it looks really cool. Now if you ever want to play tennis without actually having to play tennis, just practice this trick. It's just one ring being thrown over the top over and over again. To perform this trick, you're throwing every right-handed throw over your head and then every left-hand throw back up to your right hand. And then that keeps the loop going. Full front is a very unique trick to do with rings, and it's done where you're throwing the rings from your side and keeping it parallel with your body. The color changing trick is number 10 on this list because it can really be done with any trick you do, just by flipping the ring in your hands, and of course that makes it more difficult. And to see more about these, go check out my last YouTube video. Pancakes is another unique trick to do with rings. However, this trick is very difficult because it's almost unnatural for the rings to flip that way. Here's a cool view from the side, and it's put in slow-mo so you can see better how to throw the rings in your hand. Mills Mess has always been a popular trick and a huge crowd pleaser, so make sure to go learn it from another YouTube video or from just watching this one. Here's what the trick looks like from the side. It's a big mess with your arms, but it's controlled nonetheless. Underarm throws are traditionally done with clubs. However, if you're able to do it with rings, then that's very impressive too. To do a 180, you throw all three rings up behind you, then spin half a 360 and catch them again. A 360 is just like, well, two 180s really fast, except you're throwing the ring straight up in the air this time. Neck rolls takes a lot of practice to get good at, but I recommend doing it because once you can do it, it looks really cool, which is why it's one of my favorite ring tricks. Balancing a ring on your nose is a lot harder than balancing a club which is why it's so much further up the list. Doing a blind kick is a lot of luck and skill for me, so that's why it's number 18 on this list. Face rolls takes a lot of speed and accuracy to get the ring in the perfect position to spin. And last on this list, we have back crosses. This is a very difficult trick to do with rings because you have to put a curve on it yourself and hope it doesn't hit the back of your head. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you're more curious about the juggling rings that I use, well, they're right here. And feel free to buy them if you want. They're pretty good. I recommend it. But until next time, peace.